Our fourth inductee this evening is Mel Stratton. Working with the Blue Devils during the Corps' formative years, Mel Stratton is a drum corps visual pioneer. He helped lay the foundation of success that the Corps still stands on today. Only in his 20s at the time, Stratton would become one of the very first instructors, of the Blue, instructors with the Blue Devils when the Corps officially formed in 1971. With the Blue Devils, he would serve as a designer and overall visual instructor in addition to the caption head for the organization's winter and summer color guard programs. Blue Devils alumnus and 2004 DCI Hall of Fame inductee Stephanie Lynn said, the Blue, De <laughs> the, Blue Devils? the Blue Devils were brought to life by the sheer force of personality, vision, drive, and leadership of Mel Stratton. He was fully committed to bringing about change no matter what. He was always asking the question, what else is possible, and how can this get better than it is? Former Blue Devil director and 1970, 1997 Hall of Fame inductee Mike Moxley said, the visual design of the first Blue Devils championship show in 1976 was foundationally a product of Mel's sense of visual showmanship and understanding that musicianship and the power of the brass and percussion ensemble should never be compromised. Those of us who experienced firsthand Mel's creative talent, attention to detail, and dedication to excellence have been challenged and changed forever. I'd also like, like to thank the DCI Hall of Fame membership, you folks in general, and for some troublemakers amongst you in specific. Troublemakers like George Oliviero, Stephanie Lynn, Mike Moxley, Rick Odello, Jimmy Elvord, Shirley Stratton Doherty, Frank Doherty, and Gene Montristelli for their collective poor memories and grand imaginations of what I used to be. Even to know such people as these, I'm just lucky. But then, I've always been lucky, I guess. My greatest stroke of luck was in 1973 when outside Warhawk Stadium, my wife Patty said yes, proving that at least for the first 38 years, drum corps marriages can work. During the 70s, the Blue Devils had gone from being a beginning B Corps to winning DCI four championships, and the people asked, how? The magic of our activity is such that we are all occasionally asked, how? And why do we do what we do? Why do we do it? As I look back over the kids over the years, I've come to realize that how and why are the same. It's the kids. The generations now, I find, of kids. And they have little to do with luck. There is everything to do with their inherent performance and their growth and their admiration of their audience, their performance admiration of each other, the core's development of traditions over the years, and even occasionally a bit of brilliance from the staff mixed in. This gives me a little bit of view on how and why we all love this activity so much. It's the kids, but it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of luck on your side too. Thank you folks.